Okay, we've got eight. Our trailer port hauls 12. But possibly by the morning, we might have some more of those sheep ready to uh, sell. So. I like to run the trailer full down to the uh, yard. Drop them off. So we need to run to about eight o'clock. And or nine o'clock. Okay. So it's now about nine thirty. Uh costs at the moment and I'll jump down to there and we'll feed the you okay okay so uh, I'm figuring now the first thing I need to check in the morning is how much wool we have we're already up to a full pallet pallet plus three quarters I'll check the, uh, the sheep weight. For those in the it seems to have sorted everything into the right order. So we're now up to eighty nine pounds on those earliest ones. And eighty-nine. And even these are now up to seventy-five. So I think we've got enough to take a trailer load of sheep off to the market. Let's uh check prices. Sheeps, how much do sheeps cost? Although selling sheep now will reduce our uh Dorsets. It's a good time to sell them. It'll reduce our. Um, uh, what am I talking about? Um, our wool production. Uh, it'll also reduce our feeding requirements. So that's a good thing, I think. Run around here and grab the, fair, uh, the class. Today's the best day to sell in the year. probably need a better way to do that. a bit closer so uh, we'll reverse back to there and then talk to the uh, sheep box so we want male sheep that are 75 pounds or heavier Let's start in the 
it resequences this list every time. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sufficient to confirm. Okay. some shepherd's pie. So this trailer load, probably not a significant cost or value. Probably talking 2,000, 3,000 pounds. But it's income, so that's fine. I might take another trip up to the uh, dealer later in the year with a full load. This tractor needs cleaned. Oh yeah. Cobbly. Here's the small village by the farm. Ooh. Totally not realistic. I mean, most of these vehicles will be traveling at least 40 miles an hour. Some of the more adventurous ones would be traveling at 60, which is the legal speed limit until that point there. Britain has some great roads like the ones on this map that absolute dream for motorcyclists. At least until you get stuck behind a scared driver who won't go over 30. Okay, what was I going to check on when I came up here last? Oh, that, that was it. Is there an entrance to the fields on the left up here? Uh, a lay by there that we can get into that grass field from and that field is open right there so yes we can travel on that dirt track all the way back to the farm and just have to worry about traffic for this little bit
So if we buy fields at this end of the map, we can um, bring harvesting equipment and not have to go up the main road. So that's a good thing to know. We'll drive up here. And I screwed that up. Absolutely screwed that up. and let the sheeps out. Sheeps out. Um, these sheeps out. Four thousand. Okay, that's actually not so bad. Pays for two thirds of a uh, truckload that we just bought yesterday. So it looks like with seasons there isn't a fifty percent discount on sale. Right now, we'll stick this trailer back in the bottom field or the, the storage field. And figure out our next thing for the day. I guess I can look up uh, contracts then. Oh, actually, no, we need to go and look at our fields, see what the grass looks like. Because if the grass has finally started growing, we need to. Uh, Get the fertilizer down on it. Which, yay, fun, more fertilizer. Right up the curb. Two hundred twenty-five thousand in cash. So, a couple of fertilizer contracts certainly have uh, made me feel a little bit more comfortable with the uh, state of our finances for right now. And we bought fifty extra sheep, forty-eight, if you're counting. I think we will clean off this tractor, then go park up the trailer. I won't take the, uh, the hatch off the back yet. Hutch, whatever it is. That's to Copley. Next side turn is our private road. Okay, real time 10.08, so not been streaming for quite an hour yet since I started a bit late. Oh, here we are. Since I'm not parking the lighter tractors in the main uh, 
machine shop. We will uh, park this one next to the Challenger, which gives us the opportunity to use either. The next time that we do something. So it's mostly the windows. Those windows are terrible. Paint on the stairs is coming off. Quick spray on the. Uh... Yeah, probably should, since uh, we all know not what animals do in transporters when they're being transported. off now. So we'll run this down to the lower feet, the lower I'll call this the lower yard since it's down the hill. And we're not planning on growing anything in it. And I'll put it back where I found it for now. I do get to producing round silage bales we are going to need to use this trailer with some creels so I don't have those available at the moment so we would have to uh, don't have to take this particular trailer down to the store we can just take a small the smaller Ivor Williams trailer or oops, possibly even the Land Rover believe I forgot to look at the state of the grass field as we came by. Ugh. Because why would I do that when I know I want to figure out whether it's time to fertilize it or not and it's a new day. It's late spring already. Ugh. Stick this one next to the Challenger. Next time we need a big tractor, we'll go out in the Challenger. Give that a bit of a run. But uh, gonna guess the next big job we have is uh, running the uh, mowers. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's walk across the street. Take a look at the. Uh, the fields. Oops, there we go. Okay. This still looks like it's just harvested. What the heck? Ah, it's late summer or late spring. We're gonna have to try and fertilize it again, I think. Again, don't know if it'll work or not, but if we don't get this done now, um, it's not even going to be fully fertilized by the time it's ready to cut. It should be ready to cut early early summer. Unless it all got messed up by the winter, which would be a bad thing. So, well, I'll go and try this on the same patch of grass we've been trying it on for the last three times. And 
we'll see if in early summer we can spray herbicide on it or whether it's locked because it's fully grown. Which would also be a good thing to find out. This stuff needs herbicide already. Okay, extend the boom. That still looks still looks not ideal. Yes. And that still looks like it's having no effect whatsoever. Absolutely no effect. What is wrong with this grass? Why isn't it growing? field there is going to need some herbicide. What does that field look like as far as weeds is concerned? So this field here needs herbicide. So does that one. And so does that one. What are the contracts today? Just the transporting and the bailing. Not fast about this. I might as well go back to the yard and uh, switch. Switch wits. <laughs> Words is hard. Switch liquids and load up on herbicide and we'll spray the um, arable fields. Kill the weeds off in those and then I don't have to worry about them again. I'll keep the herbicide loaded in the, the tanks so that if we do get the opportunity to uh, kill the weeds or if it does work killing the weeds on the grass fields, then that would be a good thing. But uh, this is getting frustrating. Because I rely on three growths of uh, grass per year for a lot of the income. And that should, you know, you look at this grass, and this grass is nicely grown. But. Uh, the stuff up the top there, not happening. Okay. So this is where we stuck the... Uh... Oh! Now, there was a mod for a large storage tank for liquid fertilizer and... Um, herbicide and you have to refill it so if that's that's now a thing it costs about 30,000 which is a lot of money but that might be exactly the mod I was looking for the other week to put down here that I can store so I can store the sprayer empty um, I can unload the uh, the tanks without having to have IBCs lying around the place since we purchase it in those barrels. All right. The problem is, is I forgot to add it to the game game save, so I'll have to do that later. I think it came out on Friday, which obviously I wasn't expecting mods because it's a holiday but of course nobody in Europe celebrates the 4th of July so uh, except maybe the British and if they do they call it Thanksgiving Day but, uh, there we go let's uh going to start down on the uh, lower fields. Uh, 
Though the sunflower the sunflowers are quite a sparse growth at this time as well. So uh, we're going to be able to see. Or we might be able to see where we spread the herbicide. It's kind of a little bit of a problem in that uh, I don't know that there's a visual indication so we might need to switch on GPS just to get a, the IT run a tank. Yeah I could do I think I have the IT runner stuff loaded as well. And good morning, Captain Zink. Welcome to the stream. Be aware that um, Twitch may be a little bit off today. So if I do drop, let me know in chat, but also just refresh. And if it refreshes, just say if you're having problems just refresh and everybody can deal with that as it happens okay so as I, I can't recall if herbicide actually leaves a change of texture or not this is a very very wide boom oh and we hit the edge of the map yay Now I have to be very careful. 